So what does it take to make an awesome trail bike? Stick around, because we're gonna talk about the Santa Cruz 5010 right now. Hey guys, Nick Evanson here. Thank you all for joining me. We're talking about the Santa Cruz 5010. Now, this is Eastridge's demo bike, and they've hooked me up with it. I've ridden it for about the last week, and uh, my goal here is trying to figure out, is this the right trail bike for me? I've been coming from a cross-country background and uh, looking to get maybe a bike with a little bit more travel, and then down the road I may build up a hardtail for racing, but right now I just want something that I can get kind of rowdy on, but that still climbs pretty well. So I took out the 5010, tried a bunch of my local trails, and here's what we found. So the 5010 comes with 130 millimeters of travel front and back, and it's a 27.5 inch wheel, which makes it pretty interesting because a lot of people are looking for something like that in a trail bike. And uh, I'm no different. Um, you know, I'm coming from a 100 millimeter cross country bike, looking for something that's maybe gonna be better on downhills and jumps and such. And so I took the bike over to Boxsite. Boxsite is a great trail uh, right outside Chattanooga in a little town called Collegedale. I ride here once a week, maybe twice a week sometimes. Um, I'm over at White Oak Mountain, which is also in College Dale, and Enterprise, which is next to Volkswagen. So the trails I ride aren't crazy, you know, big descents that are real gnarly. Um, I don't need an enduro bike for most of what I ride. It'd be fun at times, but you know, a bike like the, the 5010 would be perfect for the majority of the riding that I do. Now, talking about enduro bikes, the Bronson actually felt quite a bit like this 5010. Um, I suspect that the geometry is pretty similar, just the Bronson has quite a bit more travel. But for the amount of travel that the uh, 5010 has, it's just right for the kind of trails that I'm on here. Um, it handles fast ascents, feeling very planted, very stable, and uh, that was awesome. Sometimes on a bike that's a little more playful, if you get going really fast, sometimes uh, it can get a little bit squirrely, but with the 5010, it felt very planted, very stable. So, you know, that's a big plus in my book when it comes to descending on the 5010. Some things that maybe weren't so great about it, it felt a little bit heavy, and like the Bronson, the 5010 still felt to me a little slow to accelerate. Um, that could be because this is not the high-end build, so this is a little bit heavier, uh, but that's just something that's different from my cross-country bike. Of course, it's not going to accelerate like my cross-country bike. So I actually joined up and rode this trail with one of my buddies um, another time when I wasn't filming, and he was like, come on, let's try and set a PR, and I was like, no, there's no way on the 5010 that I'm going to set a PR. However, on that day going that direction, we set a pretty fast time, so this bike actually even though maybe it doesn't feel like it's quite as fast as some other bikes that I've ridden, it still actually was pretty quick. So, you know, so you can take that for what it's worth. Now, I realize that some of you guys are going to get tired of watching my POV camera shots of Nutty Buddy Trail, but that's where we're going next. Nutty Buddy is the downhill jump trail at White Oak Mountain, and it's really just the most fun trail around. So to get to Nutty Buddy and hit the jumps, you got to climb first. And the 5010 climbed pretty well. You know, it's a little heavy, um, not super fast to accelerate, but the front wheel stayed very planted, really easy to climb with, um, and you know, keeps you in good shape if you wanna go up and get all the jumps on the way down. So, um, hitting the jump line, super fun. The suspension, not the high-end suspension, right? But uh, I didn't have any complaints with it, super fun. Um, I could see myself enjoying a bike like this going downhill all day long. On the drops here, suspension just soaked it up nicely. Um, no need for more suspension than 130 millimeters on this trail, I don't think. You know, the Bronson, it did really well too, but probably no need. This was easier to climb with. Like I said before, this bike feels very planted at speed. So like going on this trail, it was hard to get to a point where I felt like I was going too fast, uh, which was kind of fun. Being a slacker bike like this took a little bit getting used to because the steering handles differently than I'm, than I'm used to. So that's just one thing to consider, you know, after riding this for several weeks, I probably, my cornering would probably get quite a bit better. You know, for starters, I was a little bit wonky with my steering at times. However, going through the narrow skinny uh, trail like this, the wide handlebars really had to shimmy between there and the bike did great, uh, even though it's got some wide bars on it. And then my buddy David uh, came to town recently and we've been riding a lot together and he, uh, he wanted to go up and see some, uh, higher trails up at White Oak and we actually I didn't mean to but we ended up at the rock garden at the very top of the mountain and um, the 5010 it did pretty well up there 
Um, one of the keys to, to handling a rock garden like this is just to maintain your speed. Um, I didn't do very well at that on this day. Um, I hadn't been up to the rock garden for a while, but um, the suspension was great. The geometry handled um, going over the rocks no problem. And uh, especially when I went downhill, going faster over these rocks downhill at speed, uh, the bike did real well with it. So in general, like, there's not a whole lot to dislike about this bike. Yeah, other bikes might be lighter, might be a little bit faster to accelerate. Um, some bikes have more travel, but this one really does well in a lot of situations. So for most people, most of the trails that you ride, uh, if you're in the Chattanooga area, would be great with this bike. So guys, if you're looking for a trail bike, consider the 5010. This is a great option for a lot of people. It's a 27 five inch wheel, 130 millimeters of travel. Kind of hard to go wrong right there. So check it out. If you uh, like this kind of thing, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this video with your friends, and uh, I'll see you on the trail.